Okay guys, today I will be teaching you how to create this spooky skeleton. It's completely code free, has only one animation, loop animation, and completely interactive, as you can see. We'll be using Unity Animation Rigging Package, and I hope it will be lots of fun. By the way, I want to shout out to this amazing artist for the scenery in the intro. So, first of all, let's start with the frame. Okay, and then empty object. Mm -hmm. We set it transform. Make another empty object. It will be our skull socket. A place for our future skull. Let's place it here. Make a child to it in its skull. And place some visuals inside of it. Right now it will be just simple sphere. Will be enough. Let's make another empty for our jaw. Let's put some visuals inside of it. Let's see if we'll keep. Let's make it like so. We will definitely swap those placeholder visuals with the proper 3D models soon, so please take me. Let's add new empty object for arm, right arm socket. Okay. Let's place it here. Please stick to the hierarchy. It will be very important very soon. And arm. And four arm. And right hand. So let's place it accordingly and make visuals for it for convenience. Like so actually let's move a bit forward and forward and make those empty objects more visible. To make them visible with this useful unity function. Let's choose the icon for it and press show this one. Like so. Now you can see where invisible objects are and place it very easy. So, forward. Yeah, like this. Perfect. Okay. Amazing. We're almost done. Now let's make a couple more empty objects for our spine parts. Let's call it spine. One and spine two. Make spine two child of spine one. And add some sorry, add some visuals to it. Mm -hmm. right. So we're all set. We're now ready for our animation rigging. For that we need a specific package. It's called Animation Rigging. It's CNT package for making IK rigs inside of Unity. So go to your package manager, type animation, and install it. I have it already installed, so I can move forward. Now let's make a new empty object for our rig. It will be a child for our parent object and add component rig. Great. Let's not forget to add rig builder to our parent project and reference the rig that we just created. Please note that animator component was added automatically. It's necessary for rig builder to work. Now let's populate our rig with our logic. Let's start with a skull. Let's add component damned transform. It will make our skull follow our controller point slowly. I will demonstrate it very soon. So, let's make a controller point. Mm -hmm, like so. And let's point, let's put controller point to the source and constraint object as skull socket, not skull. Like so. So, let's check it out. As you can see, it's already working. It's floating, 
very smoothly and we can repeat this action multiple times to make our other limbs float smoothly too. Let's do that. Let's start with the jaw. This time constraint object will be jaw and the source will be skull, not skull socket. Make damp position 0.3 for more rigid movement and let's make the same thing for our spine parts. So spine part constraint object will be spine 1, source will be skull. And for spine 2, constraint object will be spine 2 and the source will be spine. Make it point 2. Actually this one will be point 4. Let's check it. Perfect. So we're ready, kind of loads. I like it. So let's go to the arm rig. It will be very easy. So let's just create right arm. And let's add new component called two bone IK constraint. So it's very important to fill these fields correctly. So let's just add root object as our right arm, make mid part as our right forearm, and keep as our hand. Now we need two more additional points, a target and a hint for our component. Let's call them right arm target and right arm hint. So one will be hint for our elbow position, we will place it like so, and another one will be hint for our hand position. We can place it like so, and not, let's not forget to put them in the according fields here, and it's all set up, let's check it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's already moving, let's move our target, perfect, the hand is moving, the whole arm is moving, but as you can see, it's uh, independent right now, so let's make it work together. Let's add to our right arm rig component another component. As you, you already know you already know this one. It's term transform and let's make constraint object right arm socket and source as our skull socket. Let's try. Perfect. Just a bit more. Mm, I don't like it. Let's change. So I don't like that target was moving away from our rig. So let's make it parent to our right arm socket. Yeah, like so. And right now, if you move our character, you can see right target. Right, right target is on its place, and it's all set. Perfect. Now, let's make a duplicate for our left arm, but before that, now let's swap our dull looking visuals with the pre-made amazing 3D assets. I found this model on Sketchfab, shout out to the creator. Okay, let's make a quick test. Spooky. Very spooky. Let's move our arm. Perfect. So let's quickly duplicate this arm and make a left one.
perfect. That's nothing. So, one more thing, let's add a quick animation for our hands to make them more alive, if it makes sense, I guess. It's very easy to do, just open an animation window, choose our skeleton, press create, let's call it fly, no, skeleton, fly, mm -hmm. perfect. And let's animate. We will be animating our um, these two objects. That is, these objects control our rig for our inverse kinematics of our arms. So amazing. And show it here. Then move it. Here, like this, or maybe, yeah, like it. Like so, amazing. Let's duplicate it here, and let's move in a bit. Perfect. And let's duplicate. So yeah, but it's not perfect. Let's make it better. Let's make our hint positions too. So. It will be here and here. And let's duplicate it. And then let's strike. Let's move this here animation a bit further. I like it. Let's animate the rotation of our hands. Make them bit lower on the start like this yeah. and high on the upper part of their journey journey like so Let's duplicate the last frame to make it loop. Ah, not perfect, but it's sort of the point. So let's move forward. Let's clean arm a little bit. And left arm here. Yeah, like so. Let's add some ice if it makes sense for our spooky skeleton. The important part of animation rigging is that every helper point or target should be inside of its parent uh, object that contains rig builder component. So if you want to target something outside of the character itself, you need to do it via script, via simple script, just uh, following the transform of uh, needed target. So let's make a right eye for our skull. Let's create a new empty. Actually, let's not create a new empty, let's just create a new sphere let's, and place it like a, like an eye, like a proper eye, like so. And let's create another sphere inside of it, make it a bit smaller and move forward. Like so. But I have prepared this glowing material. I can do it myself. Make a different color as you want. So, like, so let's make the initial globe invisible and then we'll stick to this design. Let's rename it, let's rename it to right eye. And now create a rig for it, right eye. Mm -hmm. Now we will use in view component from animation rigging it is multi-aim constraint our constraint object will be i let's check aim and up axis right i has up axis as y and aim axis as z as you can see let's check it z aim up is y excellent let's add source object as you can see we can have multiple source objects 
But now we have only one. Let's place our target in front of it. And yep, we're good to go. Let's check it. As you can see, skull eye is following our target. Next one. Let's make another one real quick. Mm -hmm. Let's check it. Amazing. Let's move the whole brick. Oh, spooky! We can add some fancy practical systems. Tweak and uh, set your damping components as you like. I think the jaw is moving too far from the spell. Yeah, it's much better. Much better. And animate it in a, every way you want. You can rotate the parts that are not constrained by your rig builder, but not rotate the parts that are constrained. So keep that in mind. You can customize this character as you want. So. I hope that was helpful for you guys.